Only Murders in the Building Season 1 has earned a stunning 17 Emmy nominations, a huge win for the Hulu original series. Stars Steve Martin and Martin Short both earned nominations for acting. Selena Gomez was notably snubbed despite her strong performance, as did guest stars Nathan Lane and Jane Lynch. Two only murders in the building directors are even competing in the outstanding directing for a comedy series category, with Jamie Babbitt recognized for her work on an episode titled True Crime and Cherry and Dobby's for The Boy from 6B. The Boy from 6B is certainly a standout episode of the series, as it is a major creative departure from the rest of the first season. Largely following the story of the death Theo Demas, James Caverly, the episode is almost entirely silent. Much of the story is told through a combination of American Sign Language and subtitles, giving audiences an exciting change of pace toward the end of the season. Cherry and Dobby spoke with Screen Rant about the unique challenges of directing The Boy from 6B and working with the show's standout cast. Screen Rant, first off, congratulations on the Emmy nomination. Is this your first one? Wow. Are you the kind of person who, when you were just starting out, used to make up your own acceptance speeches for fun? You're a writer, actor, and director. Which of those passions kicked off your interest in film and television? That's amazing. This nomination is for Only Murders in the Building, The Boy from 6B, which is a standout episode of an already great show. How do you even start putting this episode together, and how much work was this? Especially compared to a typical episode of TV. Directing for TV in general seems like it could be really challenging, because you're stepping into something where maybe the tone and the relationships have already been established. What's it like to come in and match what a show is doing while still having your voice as a director? And you mentioned the cast, who are all so incredibly established. Is there something unique in the way that a set works when everyone is of that level? On Only Murders in the Building, you're directing Steve Martin who is a co-creator, and then you did Ozark where you're directing Jason Bateman, who is also a director. Is there any added pressure, or do you work differently, when you're directing another creator or director? Thank you so much. And is there something that you're excited to be working on right now? Only Murders in the Building Synopsis Three strangers share an obsession with true crime and suddenly find themselves wrapped up in one. The Only Murders in the Building Season 2 finale drops August 23rd on Hulu. Oh